Hello and welcome to Gabbit Media. I'm Grant Abbott and in this series we're creating a detailed game ready axe. In this episode we'll be working on those intricate details on the handle and the straps so all the scratches and damage and things like that. If you like what you see here then check out the description for my website and playlist section of my channel for other free courses. Or you can follow the links to my character course where you can learn to make a full game ready detailed character from scratch. Okay so here's where we got to last time and we're going to work on the details for the straps and the handle and it's using a lot of the same techniques. So I'll go into object mode and select the handle first and then into sculpt mode and in fact before we do any sculpting just be aware that if you go to your draw brush you may still have the texture on so watch out for that you can just close it down with the cross just there and you'll be able to draw and sculpt normally so if your brushes are acting weird they've probably got a texture on them. So across to the draw sharp again Let's come into our shape and just tidy up a bit. Some of these grains I'm going to carry on through. So these blank bits have a little bit more detail in them. I've made the classic mistake again of not turning my symmetry on. So I'll turn my symmetry on now and I'll just start filling these areas in. I don't think that tiny bit of missed symmetry will matter too much. So just sort of filling out these grooves a little bit, making sure they kind of make sense and follow a proper grain through the mesh. Okay, I want to tidy this area up. I think it looks a bit blobby and messy. So first of all, I'm going to get the shape that I really want. So I'm going to dig into these a little bit more, maybe follow them up here a bit. So they start following that grain around and this one can join in here. And then I'll actually use the draw brush just to pull out these areas a bit and the grab brush G is the shortcut for the grab brush, so you can quickly go to that and just tidy up that shape. Always zooming out, checking how that's going. That seems to be okay. I might just see what it looks like with a bit more of a pull in there. That's better, I think. Okay, so I'll do a quick remesh. So Control R. It should remesh to the resolution or the voxel size that it was previously on. Back to the draw sharp and start drawing in these lines. I'm gonna up the strength a little bit just so I don't have to go over the shape too much and a few more lines in here just to sort of highlight that structure a bit more and just fill in these areas a little bit going up to the top here as well we'll work on the top a bit ah, now my mirror is not working particularly well because I distorted it so I'm going to turn it off for the top here because I distorted the shape at the top it doesn't copy quite across as it should but that's fine it's good because we need to go away from the mirror a little bit anyway so I'll just draw some lines coming down here maybe dig in some of these areas a bit more now I can see the strap coming through there so I'll have to tidy that up in a moment And I need to tidy up a little bit within here. So let's try digging that area in, smoothing out, and digging in. It should slowly sort itself out. And then if that's too much of a problem, then use the draw brush to dig in. And if it's not quite working, then the remesh, control R, remesh. Just make sure it's fine enough so you don't lose your details around here. Still not working particularly well, so I'll just finally use the grab brush and pull that in like that. Occasionally you just get tiny sort of glitchy areas like this that you need to sort out. And once you feel like you've sorted it out, just a quick remesh should help it all out. And there we go. Okay, so we've got much more of a bark looking type thing there. I'll just work at the bottom a bit. Again, I don't have to have symmetry on. It can speed things up a bit, especially in the middle of the handle. And it's okay for organic shapes like this to be slightly more random than symmetry anyway. Now I want to add a few scratches in, so I'll turn the brush up a bit more, give it a bit more strength, maybe down just a touch in size and a few scratches, nice and deep for some, keeping them nice and random. And in fact, before I do that, what I'll do with this one is turn symmetry on. So it does come across to the other side for these ones. So I'm gonna do a few around the place that are really on the side here so, they, so I don't have to keep repeating it on the other side. Vary the size. These are all a little bit uniform, so vary the size and the depth. And then turn symmetry off and just do some random ones around the place. 
Okay, so it's a very well-worn axe. It's tempting to go over the top with this, and I may have done that, but we'll see how we get on. Okay, so that's looking pretty nice. Let's try the strap for the handles. So object mode, cross to the strap, sculpt mode. And first of all, let's just make sure there's enough depth as if the strap's going back in on itself here. Make sure you've got mirror turned on for this bit. It should be in its previous mode, and it was in Y symmetry before. And up here in these sort of areas, making sure the strap goes up. Again, sort of back onto itself and down onto itself from up here. Okay, so that's given the strap a bit more substance in certain areas. Quick remesh, Control R. I'll just see what my remesh value is, so 0 0.005 for mine. It could probably go a little bit deep, more detailed. So I'll do one more that's a tiny bit more detailed. It won't make a lot of difference then. And what I'm going to do is a few dents like this. Not many of these. That's a bit deep, probably around there, I think. Still with mirror on for these dents at the moment. Just as if the strap's got some kinks and notches in it where it's worn away a bit. So fairly small. Every now and again I smooth out with these things. And just a tiny few sort of blemishes like this, just digging into the mesh slightly like that. That looks good. Maybe a bigger one down the bottom here. So a nice big. So hold down control with the draw brush, nice and big. Watch out that you haven't got that texture on still. And then in with the draw sharp. And this sort of bl bigger blemish type thing there. It's going a little bit deep that, so. More like the top surface is scraped away, that's all I need there. And then some draw sharp just to sort of mess it up a little bit there. Okay, they look okay. Now you may want some scratches. I wouldn't go overboard with them, but maybe just one little scratch here and there. But be careful with scratches on the straps. I'm not sure they really work as well. I'll just vary the length of those slightly. I'll just crease up some of these creases. <laughs> and now I'm just going to turn the mirror off and just check the middle parts. So I'm just emphasizing those creases basically and making sure the mirror doesn't have too much symmetry. So smoothing out when things aren't working. And that blemish looks weird on both sides, so I'll smooth that one out. And just add some visual interest there. Bring down the strength of this and up the size. So it's getting a bit too sharp, like scratches really. I'm using the reverse every now and again as well. And this, remember, is all with symmetry off. OK, so I think that's working a little bit better now. Let's come up to the top straps up here and just do a similar thing. So into object mode, select those into sculpt mode. Just check the remesh resolution. That's pretty low as it is, so that should be fine. Let's just do a quick remesh to start with. And let's start getting rid of some of these things that are in the way and making sure our strap digs in properly. I'm going to use the grab brush on that one. I've still got symmetry turned on by the looks of things. So making it nice and big and just bringing that in. It's a little bit too far away, I think. I'll just check around the bottom there, that's okay. It's a bit better. That one looks all right. Just checking that everything's good and proper before starting out. That one seems to stick out a bit strangely there. So the hardest thing to sculpt has been the one that didn't have a base mesh and that's worth thinking about really. So giving that some substance on the inside there holding down control for those ones and just smartening up the shape a little bit. It shouldn't need too much. And do remember how close you're going to be to your object, those sort of things about how detailed you want to go. To stick out, remember I'm holding down control. Okay, so now for some details. Still using the draw sharp and creating those kind of notchy bits. That looks a little bit strange, that one. Again, the mesh sometimes goes a little bit joined together like this, which can be a little bit of a pain. You have to work on it a bit, then remesh with Control R, and then work on it a bit more. And sometimes coming across with a grab brush and pulling it about a bit like this. Combine that with the smoothing just to tidy the mesh up a little bit. The draw brush can be a better option than the draw sharp, often with those sort of notches like that. And remesh if you need to. I use the control to sort of sharpen that edge up a little bit. Maybe a couple of scratches, so 
nice hard but small brush for a few scratches on here and maybe some blemishes again you can simply use the draw sharp brush for that so turn off symmetry and something down the middle here and just going around a bit tidying a few places up hold down control to stick out remember with the draw sharp brush if you move your shape a lot then make sure you're doing a remesh every now and again just to stabilize it all and to make the topology work it's a tiny bit messy in here but i don't think that's going to come out too much and we are really close in there so as soon as we come back to here it doesn't look too bad i don't think if you've used symmetry a lot then you might have to kind of delete it once you've unsymmetrized just so it doesn't look too uniform but it's easier to have symmetry on and work with that and delete bits if you need to and i feel like we're getting there with that one okay the last things these aren't too difficult these chain links at the bottom here so into object mode into sculpt mode we want to do a remesh but remember the remesh size if i go up to the remesh that's its default voxel size so that will be a bit rubbish if i press ctrl r now it will do that so shift r and let's change the size probably around here again looking at the face size and then ctrl r see what we've got that seems pretty reasonable rather than going around doing a smooth which i often do but it's a really inefficient way of doing it i'm going to come down to the mesh filter and go up to the smooth at the top there now when you click on your object and drag across you should see it smooth sometimes you have to go a bit of a distance before you see that result but around there should be nice you can always turn the strength up if it's not smoothing to your liking now i'll turn the symmetry on but i think this is actually if i press n and go to my items yeah it's got rotation of 90 on the x-axis so the z-axis is going this way it's a little bit tricky to see that you can just apply the rotation it's probably the easier way but for now i'll just use symmetry in the z and that will go across this way so in the y-axis but it's local z-axis so let's get that draw sharp back draw in some scratches let's turn the strength up brush value down and i need to remesh a bit finer so shift r and let's go 0.3 control r that's better maybe some indentations like this check that it's mirroring it's doing fine little blemishes so i'm just roughing it up a bit let's zoom out and see what that looks like not too bad okay turn the symmetry off and smooth out some of these areas where we don't want too much of that rubbish if that doesn't work it's a little long wormy lines like that so let's blemish that up a little bit more these are small, very fine details, so you won't notice too many of them, so you don't have to be too precise with this. So let's look at how we're getting on. I'll come back into object mode so we can see our whole axe, and that's looking quite nice. And we just need to copy that one down onto the other one. That's nice and easy. So I think we're certainly getting there now. So hopefully you're still enjoying it. Do comment below with any of your thoughts on how it's going. The next stage will be to sort out the low poly mesh and start thinking about baking the information across. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.